you doing with that tire? I'm gonna change out one of the trailer tires that has a slow leak to it. It was at 50 pounds of pressure the other day, now it's at 35. Mm. Where is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be about 70. Mm. <laughs> That's not gonna work. No. I like, I like 70. The max pressure rating on there is 80, 80 PSI, but 70, everything, all eight tires are at 70, 72-ish. That's where I like to keep them. All right, well, let's get this tire changed change, out. This back one here is the one that... We are actually pulled over at a military campground. <laughs> so... Uh, See, this is at 30. Pretty safe space to stop. 34. Okay. Oh, there it is. Slow. Got it. It's this one. The new one we're going to put on is at well, 78. <laughs> So we've got our six ton hydraulic, what is this thing called? A bottle jack. And then our breaker bar with our 21 millimeter socket on here. Get a better angle this way. Okay. So we're going under. Oh, sure. I'll just come over here and videographer from the yeah. other angle. Alright, so we want to put it as centered as possible on the axle that we're of the tire that we're changing out. And so you twist this part of it to get as close as you can in the center. That way you can pump it up. Just take a little pressure off and then you loosen the nuts first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm too immature. I'm going to end this video. Put on all your nuts again. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you have to lower your jack. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But on the other side of your uh, your lever here, there's a smaller oval shape which will line up to the bottom of the bottle jack, okay. which releases your uh, your hydraulic pressure. So just turn. It. Oh shit! I was literally oh, right shit. under here. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm okay. At that freaking out. I, I came to get a better angle, and you dropped the fucking trailer on my head. You're lucky I got a high bun. And so that's why I have to retighten in a star-shaped pattern to make sure that it stays even, that the tire is evenly spaced on the wheel. I forgot about that star thing. You see, such good information. I would just tighten them around in a circle. Why not? Um, you tighten it in a star pattern so that it goes on even. Because um, this top one will push this side in, and then if you push this side in, that'll come in too, and this side will be in tighter. Mm. So you do this side here, and then this side so that it's the opposite ends mm. are being pulled in. So opposite ends, opposite ends. That's gold right there. And yeah. So you just tighten it until you can't tighten it anymore. And then you move on to the next, the cross one. And then do the same. And that's tight. And you just come up. And this one is looser. 
tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't want to over tighten because then you'll strip your bolts and have to pay $100 per wheel to have all your bolts replaced. And that's not fun. No. That's, that's a whack day. Yeah. That's the day <laughs> AutoZone you're not happy about. Then you call him Pastor Q. Like, I'm at AutoZone again, Pastor. Talking about AutoZone. And I need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm not saying it's because of you. I'm just saying. I think about you. I think about you. <laughs> Do the star pattern again to double check everything because now that you've pulled, tightened in each side, this top side might need some more tightening because you pulled in every other side. So, so do it all over again. Yeah, so see, I'm getting a three quarters of an extra turn there that I wasn't able to get easily before. That's good. And then we'll drive for the next stop. We'll check the tightness because as you're driving, the wheel moves. As it's going forward, it moves side to side. You want to make sure that those bolts stay tight and everything is flat up against the wheel. And don't drop a trailer on your wife. 